what is going on YouTube. Boy Zach is back with another moto vlog. This can be a quick little ride today. Get out for just a little bit. Update on the wife and my uh, new addition to the family, my daughter. Everybody's good, everybody's healthy. The baby's gaining about two to three ounces a day. Crazy. I hope everybody on the other side of the uh, video is healthy. Hope everybody's good. The fall time is officially here. Which is nice because I don't know about all of you, but I really don't like this. It's not that I don't like the summer. I just don't like the super hot, super humid weather. So we have a problem with a lot of high humidity uh, days where I live. And we don't get much nice weather during the summer. It's usually, even when it's like 70 some degrees. So like today, I think it's a high of 80, which is actually crazy because we've already went down into the 40s at night. And uh, we already had a high of, I think like 57, one of the days these past couple days, which is nice. I like that. But it's like 90% humidity today, even though it's like 80 degrees and it's fall. So that's the type of weather we deal with where I live on the East Coast. It's just, it's pretty crummy in the summertime. All right, we're back on the CRF. I love this bike. I can just jump on it and ride, whether it be street or dirt. Just hop on it, ride it. She just keeps on going. Cannot complain whatsoever about this bike. I've had it for a while now, a long while. And I put almost 11,000 miles on it. And if you guys see from my other videos, Anybody who's new to the channel that uh, hasn't seen any of my other proper dirt rides on the CRF 250L, go ahead and check them out. This bike is very capable. Just as capable as any other bike for the most part. For the most part. There's definitely some trails out there that I wouldn't take it on, only because for one, hey, maybe they're outside my skill level. That or maybe some uh, super rocky, really big boulder rocky style trails like Carl's Dinner. Uh, there are some trail systems that you can hit that are kind of like that. And I tell you what, I wouldn't hit them on this bike. Definitely not. You know. Ah, it's so beautiful out right now. Humidity is not a problem as long as you're moving. It's not terrible, terrible because the temperature is a little bit lower. But this is always a really cool spot right here. They actually have a blacksmith um, building here. This is old Jerusalem Mill Village. They got some really cool stuff here. These buildings are original. Some nice trails over there. And the old blacksmith building is actually right here. I had a field trip here when I was a kid. It's kind of cool. I remember that as a kid. And I was in elementary school, probably fourth grade, third or fourth grade. Really, really cool. I had a lot of field trips when I was a kid. They don't really do field trips anymore. My kids at school, I've noticed that. I mean, we used to go to the space station in DC. We went to all the Smithsonian museums in DC. The dinosaurs, the uh, Neanderthals, all that really cool stuff. We haven't done any of that stuff with my kids because the schools just haven't been doing them. Really weird. I gotta readjust my levers. So when I put these bark busters on, I raise my levers up. I don't like where they are. They're like level with my fingers to the top of my bars. They're too high. Just do not feel comfortable pulling them. That wasn't a graveyard. That'd be a really cool little wall right there to send your bike down. But I wouldn't send the 250L off that. That's a little too high. This thing would definitely case hardcore. Well, you could do that anyways. Not with this intersection. section don't like that intersection yo so what's everybody been up to you all take any cool rides here the past couple weeks you got to ride other spots man if you ride just one set spot 24 7 you kind of burn them out no matter 
how big the places are, even if it takes you a year to burn it out, you will end up burning it out at one point in time. No idea where I'm at. I'm gonna bust a U-turn here because I have no idea where I'm at. That works. Four-way intersection. I don't know where that is. Open house. Let's see what it is. I'm in the market. nice house I do miss this bike being completely silent I'm not gonna lie I love how that DR is just absolutely silent I love it it's amazing see I gotta get a C concept seat for the DR things running the stock seat it's not bad in the trail but when you're riding on the street like this for a couple hours man your butt does get sore i really want to know who comes up with road names so that road back there was called sample lane hennessy lane literally sample though geez look at this traffic now too bad we can't ride any of these trails man they've got some really nice trails I ride my mountain bike and stuff on them, but it's always way too populated. You, you couldn't even ride through it if you wanted to. Oh, the building was open. Probably just for maintenance. Look at this guy on his electric bicycle. How you doing? Beautiful horse. Such a cool little bridge here. all wood tons of trails though all throughout here like that's a trail that's a trail tons of trails but which again are really cool to ride on a bicycle and or uh, even just hike really nice It'd be really cool to hit some of that stuff with a dual sport like the dr200 something really tiny something really light something very agile just in and out real quick It'd be awesome but it's just again just way too populated oh this is that hill here that I hit with my sport bike I caught some air on this uh, was it right here I think it was here or it was there meaning right here yeah I think it was right yup it was right here mind you I had my brother on this trail or on this back road with me in front of me and we were on our Senna's, we were on comms, so he knew no car was coming. But that was before I was actually really officially doing a YouTube channel, so I didn't make any footage of it. None whatsoever. It used to be like a parking lot or something. What the fuck are you doing? feet over the other lane. I don't know if you guys caught that, but geez. Look at this church, everybody. This place is insane. Insane. I guess you can go. I don't know. It looked like it was just the one way. Look at the bell. Uh, I thought the whole place was stone. I was gonna say it must be fairly old, but it's just the stone front over top of the brick. It's huge though. I mean, look at this place. It's gigantic. It's like a mini castle, man. Well, no, I kind of lost my need for speed, man. I never sped. 
we've all done stupid stuff in cars and everything and bikes and all that, you know. But I never did anything too crazy that was endangering other people's lives. Even when I was on my sport bikes and everything. But what I'm getting at is just, I don't know, I just don't have the desire to go fast anymore. And I'm not old. I'm not saying you have to be old to calm down. And I'm also not saying that I'm going out buying a Harley or nothing. Nothing against Harleys. But I'm just saying it. I'm super content, man, with doing sub 60 miles an hour on the road. I don't know, it's just funny. Because when I had my sport bikes, I used to say to all the guys that were just into little bikes, little tiny little pit bikes and everything, and um, I've always been in the dirt, but I mean, these guys were on pit bikes and stunt lots. They didn't actually ride, like, and to each their own. I'll never understand that though. Why do you have a dirt bike and you just stunt lot it? You know, again, if that's what you like to do, that's cool, man. I don't have anything against it. When you got a dirt bike with dirt tires and you're just stunt lotting it, I don't know. Not my thing. Stunt lots are fun. Been there, done that. I'm not a stunt rider. Never have been. Don't have the interest to be one either, but I honestly have a fear of riding super fast anymore. When I took the CBR 600RR out, couple months back I got it first second and third kind of scares me a little bit anymore didn't used to well I hope you guys like this quick little ride along video stay tuned because I got some footage that I'm working on right this second so I'll have a couple videos out of that as well if you like the video go ahead and give me a thumbs up please leave me a comment if you're not subscribed to the channel go ahead and subscribe follow me on Instagram and Facebook links are in the description and I will catch you guys on the next one. Adventure Zach is out. Stay safe, everybody. Peace.